Hi there, my name is Rick. I'm part of the trailer sales team at Night Equipment up here in Northern Illinois. We sell about a thousand trailers a year, and last year over 250 of them were dump trailers, hydraulic dump trailers. So today what we want to do is to give you some information that will help you pick out the right dump trailer for your particular application. Dump trailers do an awful lot of work. You can use them to haul aggregate materials like gravel, sod, um, lots of things that are bulk in nature. You can also use them to haul firewood. You can go to the lumber yard, pick up building materials. Lots of uses for dump trailers. You can also load a machine into a dump trailer, a lawnmower, a small skid steer, something of that nature. So today we're going to take a little bit of time and uh, help you with some pointers on how to pick out the correct dump trailer for your application. We're going to begin by showing you as an example our most common size of dump trailer. That would be a 14 foot or maybe a 16 foot low profile trailer with the deck between the wheels, 14,000 pound GVW. Okay, and when we talk about gross vehicle weight rating, remember that's the weight of the material inside of the trailer and the trailer itself. This particular trailer weighs about 4,000 pounds. The gross vehicle weight rating is 14,000 pounds, so that's going to leave you 10,000 pounds to be able to haul in the trailer. Now, regardless of the lift system that's going to lift the dump bed, regardless of the system, the trailer should be equipped to do what you need to do when you're not exceeding that 10,000 pounds, in this case with the 14,000 pound trailer. Okay, now you're going to hear us talk an awful lot about options when it comes to dump trailers. Option, option, option. They come with standard features, but then there's more options you can add to them to make them more useful for what you're doing. So this unit we're going to show you right now happens to be the PJ brand. This is probably our most popular seller. This trailer does not have one option on it. This is the way the trailer comes from the factory. Then what we're going to do is step from this trailer and begin to explain some of the different options and their uses. Okay? This trailer, first of all, we'll point out, is built on an 8-inch I-beam mainframe. You see this uh, I-beam uh, is all formed. It's straight, it is formed, and then it goes back to the back of the trailer very strong frame on this trailer. The main frame of course is going to carry the box that's going to haul your materials. This trailer comes standard with the adjustable coupler. It comes standard with a manually operated 12,000 pound drop leg jack. We're going to come back to the control system that's housed in the toolbox. It comes standard with a roll up tarp. In our neck of the woods here, if you don't have a roll-up tarp to protect that material and keep it from blowing out of your trailer, they won't even allow you into any of the dump areas. And uh, they want you to be safe when you're going down the road and not hurt somebody. The sides of this particular trailer are two feet tall, and it's made out of 10-gauge material. And notice, this is all for stiffener purposes here. The way this is built into the sidewall, that's actually formed in the material itself, in the sheet metal. So if you look on the inside of the trailer, you'll see how that's formed. The inside walls are not smooth, they're actually formed. On some trailer models, the stiffener will be welded into place. PJ has taken that a step further, got that uh, building operation out of it, and uh, has made the sides to suit. The trailer comes standard with a mount for a spare tire and rim. Radial tires, of course, standard would be on a 14,000 pound trailer would be your 10 ply tires, load range E, and you'll notice there's all LED lights on this trailer. Good long lasting lights, nice bright lights. The trailer does come with stake pockets. So if you want to add a, some height to the trailer, you could do that yourself. Or PJ also makes side extensions. Okay, the rear gate. 
This is called a combo gate, a split spreader gate, okay? So we can open up the gate in the middle and we can pin the sides back. And now we can just dump everything we want to out of the back end of the trailer if all you're trying to do is empty the bed or if you were loading building materials in it, something like that. So that's the first part of the combo gate. The second part would be if you're spreading gravel or some type of aggregate. Okay, we release the trailer at the bottom and it will hinge from the top. And then a chain is used to hold the gate and keep it from opening further than you want it to. So that's the spreader option. Now for loading machinery, on this particular trailer, the ramps are stored beneath the trailer. These ramps are six feet long, they're good and heavy. So you could load up to about a 9,500 pound skid steer on here if you wanted to. Now for those of you with not much experience in loading a machine into a dump trailer, you have to keep in mind it's a little bit different than loading a machine into an open flatbed trailer. Skid steer, for example, they're kind of squirrely. So you need some space on both sides because when you're a little bit squirrely and that bucket on the front's going back and forth, it's a little bit different than being out in the open. You'll actually be banging the bucket into the side. So you have to take a lot of care when loading machinery on wheels. One time I just about lost a skid steer. It was raining, I was in a hurry. And what I'm in the habit of doing is bringing the bed up just a little bit to take away this point where you're gonna go from on the ramps onto the level bed. And what happened was, as I came up off the ramps onto the slick bed and the wheels started turning and the machine was going this way and this way. I just about lost it. So you really have to be careful. It's a little bit different than, than loading an open flatbed trailer. Okay, let's talk about controls for the lift system. This trailer is standard as it comes. It's power up and power down. And what we have here is we have a 12 volt DC motor driving a hydraulic pump. There is fluid in this tank. And of course, the battery is providing the power for the electric motor, okay? We do have an onboard charger to keep the battery charged up. So you just run a typical extension cord to this in the evening when you're down. It's a maintainer, so you can leave it plugged in forever if you want to, and it won't hurt the battery a bit. But you keep your battery charged up that way, okay? And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that later on. So, we have a push button control up. Okay, this is a remote control on a cord, and the cord's quite long. It'll probably reach up to your truck if you were sitting in the truck, but you can hook this up to a wireless remote control, which would be more convenient. So if you're spreading gravel and you want to control how high the bed is up, you want to raise or lower. You can do it with a wireless with a wireless remote in your truck, in your hand while you're in your truck. This particular trailer comes standard with what we call a scissor lift. It's a single cylinder, a hydraulic cylinder, and this mechanical linkage that you can see. And this is very popular. What it does is that it provides a lot of power at the beginning of the stroke, and then as you begin to dump material, it doesn't need as much power, it will develop more speed. So this is a very common lifting device for a dump trailer. This unit comes standard with the scissors lift and you'll see it's a five inch diameter cylinder. Now again, that will give you plenty of power if your bed load is leveled from front to back and you don't exceed that 9,500 or 10,000 pounds. It's enough power to raise the bed properly. So what we've showed you here is the way this particular model of trailer, the PJ Model DL, comes standard. There's nothing else that has been added to this particular trailer. 
Now, what we want to do now is show you the same model, the same design of trailer, but this time we've added several options to it. Some of these options may be beneficial, they may not be needed in your application. So we'll go through this one and just point out the options that we've added to this trailer. Okay, let's start with the control system. Remember, on the standard trailer, it was power up and power down. What we've done now is had them to add some different valving and a three button control and we're adding the gravity down feature. What this does is it helps you to save your battery. A lot of times you've just finished dumping, all you want to do is get the bed back down. So what you can do is you can push the third button and the bed will simply float down. Now it may take a little bit longer, but remember now you're not using the battery, so you're going to save battery life. Mm -hmm. And again, you still have your standard power up and power down. There's the power down. There's the power up. Also on this unit, to give you more lifting cycles, in between the times you charge the battery, we've added a second battery. So we put two things on this trailer optional, a second battery and the gravity down to help you lift more times in between charging stations. Okay? Now this one's going to spoil you. We still have the 12,000 pound rated jack but now this is a hydraulic jack being powered by the same system that lifts and lowers the bed. So all we have to do is shift the valve a quarter a turn, and now we're going to have our power jack function. Up and down. So you don't have to crank that jack from the side. Going to save a lot of work. This option used to be about $1,800. Today it's about $500. Bucks. PJ came up with this nice design and uh, wonderful feature. Probably 90% of the, the trailers we sell now, the hydraulic dumps, include the power jack. Okay? Next option. Remember on the standard trailer, we had a five inch cylinder. This is a six inch cylinder. The same basic lift. It looks a little different because this is a 16 foot trailer. The other trailer was 14 feet. But this bigger cylinder will give you a little bit more lifting power. We figure or talk generically in terms of another 1,500 pounds. Now we're not encouraging you to overload these trailers, but we know how you fellows use the trailers, okay? Another option on this particular trailer is the cross members on the back two thirds of the bed. Standard, they are 16 inch on center. Here, we've added some cross members to it, make it 12 inch on center. And it will keep that bed over the long haul a little bit straighter, okay? Keep some of that warping from happening. Also on this trailer is a tire upgrade. We put 14 ply tires on it instead of the standard 10 ply tires. Now you can also see the sides of this trailer are four feet tall. It's just a little bit different model, but the sides are four feet tall. They're still 10 gauge. And the floors, by the way, standard is 10 gauge. Seven gauge would be an upgrade on the PJ model trailer like this. On this trailer, we added a spare tire and rim. The mount is already standard, but we added the spare tire and rim. The back end of this trailer is like the original model, the standard model, has the combination split spreader gate. Now we're going to change brands of trailers on you and show you a little bit different twist, okay? This is the B&B &B product. B&B standing for Binky and Binky. That's a family name, Binky Enterprises. This is their dump trailer. It's low profile, has a nice deck height, good for loading machinery, still good for dumping. Notice how high this bed goes up in the air. You can really shed materials out of this bed. Binky does a lot of things that are extra special. Look at this face mount coupler instead of the channel coupler. Very durable, rigid design. That's standard on this trailer. Now, of course, this can be a ball, a heavy-duty uh, ball coupler, or it could be a pennel ring. They bolt on their jack, so if you ever damage your jack, you can replace it easily. Their 16-foot-long trailers come standard with two batteries, and their control system is standard with the gravity down included, as well as the power up and power down. Okay? Now I want you to notice the lift on this trailer. We still have the scissors lift, 
But look at the construction of this lift. The massiveness and robustness of the scissors mechanism itself. And then the six inch cylinder is standard. This hoist is made by Champion, one of the best hoist companies. And this is an 11 ton hoist, 11 tons. It'll lift about anything you put in this trailer. This is a 16 footer with three foot high sides. Okay, another very unique thing about this lift. Note that the top of the scissors lift mechanism is actually attached to a slide. Now I want you to see this for sure, okay? See this slide right here. When you very first press that button to lift the bed, before the cylinder comes under a load, it's allowed to pick up momentum by this little bit of slide here available. It's about an inch and a half. But that lets your cylinder get a good head start and inertia begin before you begin to lift that heavy load. Okay, this unit comes standard with your two 7,000 pound axles. This particular trailer is equipped with two 8,000 pound axles. Now when B&B goes to the 8,000 pound axle beams, they go to the heavy duty wheels, you can see the heavy duty wheels, and 17.5 tires. More of a man's tire, okay? I'll call that a man's tire. Going to provide very good use. Note here there are some stabilizer jacks on the back end. A lot of times when you're pulling a dump trailer like this with a relatively small truck and you're going to load maybe a 9,500 pound skid steer in here, you need some extra stabilization. So these jacks can be put down so when the trailer stoops, when you drive your skid steer up on it, there's some support there. This is what we call a four-way combination gate. It opens up as double doors, or you release it, hinge from the top for spreading, okay? Or on this one, you can also lay down that back end gate. If you wanted to haul long material, long lumber or something, you can lay that down and let the lumber hang out, or you can easily, pretty easily take off that gate. Now I say pretty easily, it's a heavy, well-built gate, but you can remove the gate in its entirety if you need to. Again, this trailer comes with your slide-in ramps from the rear, six feet, pull them out and load. And also, this trailer can be equipped with the super single 10,000 pound axles. So if you're really gonna load this baby up and haul a lot of weight, it'll give you more axle power. You can go to the super single 10,000 pound axles. Okay, we're gonna switch brands on you again. This is the SureTrack brand that we sell. This unit is different primarily in the lifting system, okay? This has a single, what's called a telescopic lift. Now I wanna just simply show you in terms you can understand, if I was strong enough to lift this bed, I wouldn't come back here and lift it up from the middle where I don't have very much leverage and all this weight hanging over. I would come to the front of the trailer and I would lift this bed up from the front. So that's the principle here. You have the telescopic cylinder mounted on the front that lifts up the bed that's hinged back in the very back. Very good system. Unique thing about this, uh, it actually weighs a little bit less than your scissors lifts. So that does, in theory, give you a little bit more payload capability because your lifting mechanism weighs less. On this trailer, um, plenty of speed, whether it's the scissors lift, the telescopic lift, plenty of speed built into the lift systems for these different trailers. So we've been showing you the most popular style and sizes of trailers. Don't forget the trailers come in small sizes too. Not everybody needs a big trailer. This is not the smallest we sell. This is a five by eight with a single 5,200 pound axle, okay? SureTrack also makes one that's four and a half by eight and that trailer is light enough, it can be pulled in the woods by a big ATV or a UTV. At the same time, that trailer is designed to where you can take it 55 to 60 miles an hour down the highway. So sometimes small trailers will do the job. So here's what we want you to remember. When you're surfing on the web, looking at all of the different dump trailers, 
Just please remember that they're all equipped differently. There are many, many different brands, many, many different models, and a lot of good trailers out there. Okay, but don't go by just price alone. What you want to do is consider the features of each trailer. We showed you the PJ with no options. Then we showed you the PJ with lots of options. There's about $2,500 difference in the price of the two trailers, okay? So when you're looking into dump trailers, you have to be sure that you're comparing apples to apples. Not everybody needs the fancy features. Sometimes just the basic trailer is quite adequate. But you need to be aware of what you're buying, what you're getting for the money. And if you need help with that, give us a call here at Night Equipment. We'll be happy to show you these things in person. Go back through this. There's so much to tell about dump trailers. We could only spend 10 or 12 minutes with you here. We've got a PDF on our website, on our dump trailer landing page. There will be this video, and then with it, you can print off this PDF, and it'll have this information we've shared with you and more. So feel free to use that, okay? And then call us here at Night Equipment if we can help you further. Thanks for joining us.